and they even lock into place. Bam! Today in my cave tools, let's explore the brand new Milwaukee Packout tool storage units. It's in there. Fancy. The model number for the three battery storage unit is 4822-8339. It does have a locking mechanism so you can lock it into your wall packout unit. It does fit all battery sizes, thank God. It's a very simple locking me mechanism, but it works. And that's all that matters. To lock each battery and it does have like a little slot to where you could just take it out by pushing in the pins and then push out towards the back. Then you could pull it out. And then to put it back in, just slide it in and it clips right back in. And just so you know, they also do have an M12 battery holder as well. The Milwaukee Tool Station is $39.98. It has a little area right here so you can put some random stuff. It has two tool slots. It does have seven points of contact, including the lever. You just pull it back to slide it out of the packout unit. And this unit is capable of holding 25 pounds or 11.4 kilograms. Model number for this is 4822-8343. So let's see what these units look like full. We're gonna use this packout unit that I have up here. This is a single column. You could put it on either or. These packout units are awesome, you guys. I'm so glad that Milwaukee is making more packout units for everyone to customize. I love customizing stuff. I, I did have trouble locking that, so I used uh, pliers. It just wouldn't go. Uh, my unit might be bent a little bit. Put the 12 amp hour battery in the bottom. We will lock that in place. We'll put an 8 amp hour battery in the middle. It really is in there. It's very secure. I'm confident that that is very, very secure. And last but not least, let's fill the last slot with a 6 amp hour high output battery. Click that in place as well. And you give that a little tap tap. As you can see, Milwaukee actually did a great job designing that. All right, let's put the tool station right next to it and let's load this up with some tools. All right, first let's stuff this with the Milwaukee M12 stuff. This is the M12 impact driver. I love M12 tools, but just the size of the handle for the kind of applications you'll be using this for, it's a little bit too thick for me. It is, I, I, I prefer a, th a thinner handle. Let's put the Milwaukee M12 hammer drill in there. Gotta imagine if you did a full wall of this. Like, you can completely customize everything. It's not a bad idea at all. Milwaukee did good on this stuff. I'm not a fan of the Ryobi Link wall system. I love their portable storage units, but the, just the wall system, I, I'm not a fan of that. I'd rather get the Milwaukee pack out for the wall units. So, yeah, as you can see, the Milwaukee M12 stuff fits. It, so, let's put the battery on top. Let's see what kind of space that takes up. It still has some space all the way around. Next, let's see on how well the M18 stuff does. This is the mid-range impact wrench. This is model number 28, sorry, 2962-20. It is a powerful impact wrench. Slide that right in it. So as you can see, that fits in there good. You'll be able to fit the M18 uh, high uh, range impact wrench in there. Let's do the impact driver. The model number for that is 2853-20. Let's do the M18 and M12 charger. And just like you guys know, they do have an extra large wall unit for 60 bucks, including a three storage battery unit. Now let's do the, the other 2853-20. My Frankenstein even fits in here like a glove. Let's put some hand tools on the bottom shelf right there. And for 40 bucks, you could get the compact wall plate with a three battery storage. All right, I just want to show off my new knives that I got today, you guys. Like, these are these are custom metal engraved for Ryobi Rebels. The, these, these knives look awesome. They, they really do. I got two of those each. Fantastic. I thank you very much, uh, Riley. You are the man. Those things are awesome. They really are. I had one of these knives for years, and I use it all the time, and it still holds up. It's all metal. It's, it, it's awesome. Just look at that design. That's seriously amazing. I thank you so much once again, Riley. And that fits in just like that. We'll put the Ryobi tape measure on top. 
and let's uh, pack everything else on top and see how much it can hold. Remember, it can hold up to 25 pounds, so you can pack that away. And of course, that 25 pounds also depends on how well you secure the actual wall mount to the wall. Just so you guys know, this does not fit in the middle. This unit will not fit in the middle. You have to use the left column or the right column for that to properly fit. As you guys can see, I majorly agree with what Milwaukee did here. This is a fantastic idea because batteries were always a sore and a pain to deal with when it comes to storage. People stack them up on top of each other, but it's like a tower, it falls over. They just throw them in the toolbox or they put them in a spot where it doesn't fit. So now they have a designated spot in your Milwaukee Packout unit. I love tool storage units of all brands. Milwaukee Packout, in my opinion, is the best. It is. You know, other brands are great as well, but the Packout system is fantastic. I love that Milwaukee keeps being innovative. They keep making new stuff. You know, like they keep coming out with ideas like this. Let's actually do the barcode on this. Let's see what comes up. Except, all right, I'm wondering how much this pretty much costs. Load more. Load more. Let's just look on the, oh, let's see what it's called. Let's see if Home Depot has it on their, on their app. Milwaukee pack up battery should be sufficient. All right, so it is $44 for a two pack. So for 44 bucks, you can keep your expensive batteries safe and sound instead of rattling in your truck or your car or in your other pack out or a tool storage system. So this actually is a good idea. It locks into place so it doesn't just pop off if your truck gets bumped. I'd rather spend $44 on this than have to deal with the warranty in case if this completely drops and gets smashed up while you're traveling. So to me, that's not worth it. It's not. I'd rather get something that would keep them safe uh, from the beginning and it is done. And they even lock into place. Bam. This is an excellent idea. This really is. Even the 12 amp hour fits in there. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.